Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. You'd think I'd do 200 episodes and be out and down for the count. Well, I'm not. I'm even bringing back out the big mic and I got my own fancy light now. Check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna be lit, fam. What's up? So, tonight, the Meatless Eatless Mental Mushroom Monday, we're going to be discussing, I know, not really health related, but something I've been obsessing with lately. Securities and stocks. <laughs> Particularly this GME craziness. For those who don't know, GameStop is GME's, or uh, GME is GameStop's symbol. It is a company that bought our video games, many of which we paid $50 for, in mm, packs of dozen for about $3. And then they resold them to you at a much more exorbitant price. And sometimes just gave you store credit. Basically, gypped us a lot. <laughs> and it's something a lot of people may have had mixed feelings about. Because you buy something brand new, you like the game, and then you don't want it anymore. You want to make some money from it. And you don't have eBay, and you don't have access to somebody who even wants it. So GameStop will be your buyer. But it's such a tiny fraction of the price you feel cheated well cheating and this week's theme being lucky the main thing is something hedge funds have been doing for a while they've been cheating and they've been getting lucky because not enough people cared about one of these failing businesses in particular as well as there not being a great knowledge base as to what is happening in the securities market with hedge funds who this is an important verb coming up short the market how do they short the market well they short specific securities by i'm gonna mess this up maybe because i'm a little uh ignorant and the word of the subreddit wall street bets is retarded a bunch of retarded apes we are have a hundred bananas and now snake wants hundred bananas so snake believes they can buy those bananas and then sell them back after shorting the price so low that they could make money from that they could make money from betting that it's going to lose by Man, I, I still don't. I still don't entirely get it. I, I've said it a couple times, and I still don't quite grasp it. They sell these bananas, and then believe they can get to buy them back for a lower rate later, and then sell them to keep from losing money. So you buy them now, and then you go ahead and sell them with the plan that these stocks will be, these bananas are gonna be worth a lot less. Well, it turns out a lot of apes like a lot of these bananas and they continue to buy. And this short market has been over floated. So there are more shares in circulation than there should be. It is around 70 million have been created, 50 million are being traded and they're acting like there's another 30 million to go, but there's, who knows? There's a really bloated price that a lot of what they're calling like nerds with stimulus checks are getting lucky on riding this stock to the moon. So right now, the float share is 120%, which means that they haven't paid back all their shorts yet. <laughs> and laddering is a tactic that's been used today which is selling in small fractions small small fractions to lower the price volumes haven't been traded not a whole lot of people have been selling large volumes in fact we've been buying the dip so I feel like I'm about to get super duper lucky around a thing that we were told is not a viable market option, GameStop. 
selling your games. With a combination AMC, we're looking at video game arenas now. Ah, so with this, in short, I am not a financial advisor, but I like the stock and these headphones. From what I'm understanding, are losing billions of dollars, moving as many pieces as they can on the chessboard, pretending there's a silver squeeze with Reddit bots who have a day or two days of activity and didn't exist before this was needed on Friday, which is what's coming on Friday. They need to pay it all back. Let's keep our eyes peeled. I'm so excited and I feel lucky. Thank you all for listening. See you tomorrow. Let's talk about some Taco Tuesdays.